it's it's good, but it's not. Uh, it's good. It's kind of good. Kind of good. Okay, actually, not too bad. I think it's a little bit lower than normal. So yes. next time you can say it's normal or it is funny but nothing special. It's gonna be like positive way. But if you said it's not too bad, so it's a negative way. Uh huh. Understand? So actually, when you said it's not too bad, mean something bad, but not too, uh, but not too bad only. But if you say, and people will never think that is good. Yes. Okay, you should maybe change. Now today we continue with practicing listening skill. Okay, and I think that uh, next week, next week, uh, maybe in uh, today is when Monday, right? So maybe mm -hmm. uh, in um, when next Wednesday we're gonna have a real test. Yes. <laughs> now let's do it. Sorry, this is what? No, it is listening, not speaking. Oh my God, what happened with this one? Okay, then. Now okay. look at this one. Oh my God. Oh, I'm so sorry for that. I would, I have, I have to change a little bit. Sure. Because it didn't show the, how to say, it didn't show the order of the animation. So I, I, it's ha I have problem with my PowerPoint. Yeah. Yeah, so now we continue with the digital class. Okay, look at the picture and describe the picture for me, please. Um, this picture is very beautiful, right? Yeah. And I think we are in a park or in a forest. Hmm, I think that is not in the, the forest because you see the grass here. It looks like man-made, not, oh. na not the nature. So maybe we are in a park but not in the jungle. Yes. Yeah, okay, thanks. What else? Mm, the swans are very white. A man are feeding him, uh, feeding them. It's beautiful, right? The one yeah. swan is so beautiful. The last one is so beautiful. And can you see, can you tell about the people in, about the activity they are doing? Um, some, some, some people are feeding some animals. Some people are selling. Some people are writing their diaries or some people are making lunch, right? Okay, let me suggest you, for example, when you look at the picture, the first one you need to say is, of course, it's about the background, it's about the place, right? okay? And then you can answer the questions with, you can make questions by yourself. We got something, WX questions like, what, where, when? When, why, why how, who, okay. how, who, who. So, and, who's, and these you can make, you can make the questions by yourself. For example, uh, with the questions where, I will make the questions where are we? So I can say I'm in a park. We are in a park. What are they doing? Or what can you see? Now you're gonna describe. You're going to describe something, you see, you have to describe something with the number, with the big number. For example, here we see, 
we are in the park, but there is a pond or there is a river. Five, five, in the five park. boats. And they are traveling by, by boat. I boats. can see many boats and maybe they are on the right. You see, there are flags on. on yes. The and then you're gonna talk about the number of the people and you can say that, okay, and maybe the children come here with their parents. Look at yes. that. Hey, uh, because sitting on a boat is quite dangerous. So they need some, how to say, um, adults to be on the boat because the, the children cannot handle all the things. Okay? Yes. Look at that. And then after that, you're gonna say about some activities of them. Okay, remember the order from the big things to the small thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think you're gonna do it better next time. Now look at this one. How many names have we got here? Seven names. Yeah, seven names, but one is already linked. So you're gonna listen yeah. and draw one. Part one, listen and look. There is one example. This is a good photo. Did you take it? Yes, I did. It's a picture of my school friends on the river in London. We had an excellent day. Is that woman in the boat your teacher? The one who's wearing a hat? Yes, her name's Sarah. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. Look at the swans. Aren't they lovely? And that's your friend, David, isn't it? Yes, he's giving them some bread. He didn't fall in the river, did he? It's dangerous to stand up in a boat. No. <laughs> And can you see May? Is she the girl next to your teacher? No. She's in the other boat, sitting next to the boy. Oh, I see her. Why does she look so unhappy? She had a stomach ache because she ate too much ice cream. And who's that? The boy with the flag in his hand. That's Richard. Oh. Has he got a rucksack on his back, too? That's right. And that's Harry. He's writing a postcard. It's easy to see him. Why? Because he always wears that red football shirt. Every day? His mum washes it sometimes, I think. And look! There's Emma. Where? Sitting on the grass. She's putting the picnic things on the blanket. Oh, yes. Was the picnic the best part? No. We all enjoyed everything. Now listen to part one again. Yeah. 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 Look at that. So tell me, what is the name of these activities and where are they? What are they doing? They are feeding. No, no, I don't ask about that. You say that because they have flag and they go in group. You say they're not going alone. So they go in group. And what are the two, the two name of this? Huh? What is the name of these, all of these activities? Um, write postcard. No, I don't ask about the activities of each person. I ask about the name of the journey, of the name of the trip. What kind of trip? Picnic. It's a kind of picnic. Okay, yes. that's what I want to say. But in, and in picnic, you can do a lot of things. The first one, okay, David. David is. What is he doing? 
here's feeding the swans. Yes, how about me? He, she had a stomach. Why? Because she eats a lot of ice cream. She ate a lot of ice cream. Ate and ice cream. what is he holding? What is he holding? He's holding a flag. Yeah, on his hand. And how about Harry? He is writing postcard. A uh, card. Yep, writing card or postcard is okay, but how do you know that is he? Because he, he always wear it, um, sports shirt. The best one, mm -hmm. it is t shirt. Uh, t -shirt. red football. Is it a t shirt for football or soccer or something? Yes. And <laughs> is he wear it, wearing is all the time? Yes, he wears it every day. He wears it every day, sometimes his mother's washes. And yes. Emma, what is Emma doing? Emma is putting the picnic, picnic things. things out of to the blanket. Yeah, on the, what is on the blank. blanket? The mat. A blanket or mat? Actually, is is the blanket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because in the audio said that, and the mat in the real, in the real life they really heavy, because they have to stay on the ground, so they is not easy. It is not easy for you to remove or bring a mat to, to picnic. So it's a blanket is be lighter and it's more easy for you. Well done, you did very well. You did it very well, and. That eating is the best part of the picnic? No. No. How do you think about that? Yeah. How, how do you think about going picnic? What is the uh, best? Um, all the things or I love all the things. You all love all the things. Oh, okay. And if you are if you have a chance to go a picnic with your family. Can you tell me some activities you want to do? Where will you go? The first one. I, where will, you want to I will go sailing. Uh, are you in the animals? By the sea or where? Huh? Where will you go? In, where will you go picnic? I will go to the um, to the jungle. Are oh, you gonna go to the jungle? And what will you do? I will feed the animals. What kind of animals in the jungle? Um, birds. Oh, I thought I was tiger. <laughs> yes. Yeah, are you sure? Okay, yeah. you some birds, some kind of maybe monkeys. If you are lucky. No, you... monkey. No, monkey. The monkey will steal, steal. The monkey will steal our food. Yeah, actually, they not steal. They take it away in front of you. Yes. <laughs> they they rob it. Yes. Not steal. Okay, now next one. Look, this one. Tell me, what is it? Yes. What is it? It's Dad's birthday. No, tell me, what thing is it? It's a card. What kind of card? Postcard? No, it's a birthday invitation. Birthday card. No, not birthday card. It's birthday invitation. Uh, birthday yeah. card is you write your wishes and you give your friends on her birthday, but birthday invitation that your friend gave you and you come to her house. It's different, okay? Uh, yes. So this is about the dad's birthday. Okay, we're gonna have the party. When? When do we have the party? Sunday. Sunday at, start at maybe the 
What kind time. of information? Yeah, time. Number of the people. Ten or twenty. Okay, it's maybe a number. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Color of the cake. Can you Color. guess? Color. I uh, think. I think chocolate. Brown. So it's brown. Oh, I think that is maybe pink or something like that. No. <laughs> No, it can't. It can't. Okay. Because... Number four, tidy. The. So we need a name here. Yes. The name of the things and number five, present. Okay. Something. Um, yeah, something. Maybe if 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 it's your dad's birthday tomorrow, what will you give him? Give him. I will give him some book. Oh, very uh, well. No, some fo some photos because he like taking photograph. Oh my God, that is so interesting. You are a good girl. Now let's listen. Yeah. To you. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Mom, can we have a party for Dad's birthday? Oh yes, that will be nice. But it must be a secret. All right. But when shall we have it? It's his birthday on Tuesday, but that isn't a good day for a party. How about Sunday? OK. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Are you asking me this? We can have the party in the evening. The afternoon will be better, Peter, because you have to go to school on Monday. All right. What time can we have the party then? Half past three, I think. OK. How many people can come? Twenty? Not that many. Just the family and a few of Dad's friends. I'll make enough food for twelve people. Can you make a big square cake? And it must be green. That's Dad's favourite. I'll try. But you must help me too. There will be a lot of things to do. OK. Give me something to do now. Shall I tidy the dining room? No, you don't need to do that, because we can eat outside in this lovely weather. So, can you please tidy the garden? That sounds boring. I know, but we want everything to look nice, don't we? Yes, you're right. What present shall I get him? How about some new gloves? He needs some for his golf, and he's lost his old ones. But that will be expensive. Well, I'll give you some money. But you must cut the grass first. OK. OK, is that all you want? No, no, no. OK. No? Again? No. No? Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, okay, let's check. Why are you doing that? It's so cold. So cold. Really? Um, yes. You can, you maybe need a coat or a jacket. You're acting like you are in Iceland. <laughs> oh my God. Now look at this one. Birthday invitation. And we have party on Sunday at half past three. Okay, you are right. The number of people, I heard that they tell something about 20. No. No, but why? What is 12? Too much. Too much. Uh, too many, not too much. Too, too many. much, not for the people. Yeah, too many, only some friends and families. So make it 12. And the color of the cake, why is it green? Because it is his father's favorite color. Ah, uh, exactly. And the the woman said she, she wanna try, but I'm not sure she gonna suggest succeed or not. Number yes. four, see, he said that he wants to tidy up the the dining room. No, but mom, mom said him to tidy the garden. Why? Why does she need to tidy the garden? Because we need to we need to clean the garden. 
Why? Why do we need to clean the garden? For what? What do we do there? We will organize the party there. Yeah, so you can say that they're gonna eat out. Yeah. Uh, eat out, that means you organize over there, not in the dining room. And the last one, he want to give, the mother suggest him to give his father gloves. Oh, but what did the boy say? But it's too expensive. So what is the solution for this one? I will give you money, okay? Uh, money, the mom will give, will give him money, but remember to cut the, okay. cut the, the grass. grass first. Okay, very good. Now we move to this one. Okay, we have a lot of plays. <laughs> and people always forgot things. Okay, I think it's quite easy for you because we learned all about these words. Okay, can we start? Yeah. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. It's raining. Lucy's dad had problems on the first day too. in his new office. Where were all his Three things? Three days. How was your day at college today, Dad? Oh, I had so much to do, Lucy. I had to move all my things to my new office, and everything was in the wrong place. I needed my phone to speak to one of the teachers, and I looked everywhere for it. Where was it? I found it under my chair. Oh my God. Can you see the letter G? That's not crazy, right? Now you listen oh. and write a letter in each box. You're I can't find my night. sandwiches because someone put a heavy book on top of them. Oh dear. Yes, I didn't want to eat them after that. So I had a pizza in the college cafe for my lunch. What other problems did you have? Well, some students came in and asked me for some glue, but I couldn't find it in my desk. I found it later in my bin with some other things. That was good. I needed my scissors to cut some paper for a lesson in the afternoon, but I lost them too. Then someone found them in a big brown envelope with my address on it. Oh, what a day. It sounds terrible. And guess what? What? I lost all the examination questions, too. One of the teachers came in and asked me for them. I must be more careful in the future, because they're very important. They were under some magazines. Dad? By four o'clock, I had a bad headache. I'm not surprised. I went to get some medicine, but it wasn't in its place on the shelf. Then I found some in the cupboard with the tea and coffee. <laughs> I took some and then left early and went swimming. <laughs> I felt better after that. Good. What? It's difficult to find things in a new room. Yeah. Now where's my pen? Okay. Now listen to part three again. We see. We can see that the dad is like absent-minded he forgot yeah. and messed up everything so now let's buy all the things for him the first thing he forgot is oh the sandwich. first thing he has problem is sandwich yeah it's so terrible next one the people of the student asked for some blue blue and where did you find that he found it in the rubbish. Yeah, he found it in the bin, bin with something else. And next thing we have here, where is the scissors? Uh, it is next to on the envelope. Mm, actually, yes. And with the name, him on that. 
And next yeah. thing, how about exam questions? We already got it right. But, but he didn't find it. So after that, what did she find? What did, what did he find? Behind the magazine. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, under the mag magazine is not behind. Got it. And the last one, when he got a headache. Got it. By his medicine. His medicine. But where is the medicine? It is. Um, I forgot this one. Okay, here, this one in the cupboard. With oh, yeah. some coffee and tea. Oh. <laughs> look yeah. at this one. It's a, it's a, look at the picture. It looks like a syrup, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, we are putting things in the order. It's very easy. Now, listen. How are they going to the airport? We have three transportation. How many suitcase and what time did the plane leave? Part four. Plane. Listen plane. and look. There is one example. How are they going to go to the airport? Is Dad going to take us in the car to the airport tomorrow, Mom? It's expensive to leave the car there. We'll go in a taxi. That's a lot of money, too. Can't we go on the bus? No, we have too much to carry. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. 1. How many suitcases will they take? Are we going to take all the suitcases? No, I don't want to take the big green one. It's too heavy. You and I will have one each, and Dad will take two. So that's four. No, five. Don't forget your brother's suitcase. Wow. Two. What time does the plane leave? My, my family is And bigger. when does the plane leave? Did you say half past twelve? Oh, you ask so many questions, Paul. No, a quarter past. And we have to be there one hour before that, at 11.15? That's right. It's so good. So good. It's so good. It's milk tea it's from my mom. Oh, really? He made it. He made it. Like the energy for you. I just had water. Cute of water. So cool. So cheerless. Now, look at this one. How many suitcases will they take? They will take five suitcases. Whose? Oh, those suitcases. Um, um, dad's suitcase, um, mom's, mom's brother, and him will, him. Okay, look at that. Dad's suitcase, mom, brother, and him. So we have four. Dad will carry two. Okay, that's good. Then we have two suitcases. Last one, what time does plane leave? Plane will leave at quarter, a quarter 12. A quarter past. A quarter past 12. A quarter past 12. And, but why do they need to be at the airport at 11.15? Uh, uh, purpose how? Um, I forgot this one. Yeah, you see that before we have to get on a plane, we need to check in. Actually, mm. you need to check in at least 30 minutes. At least I said that. So, if you are a normal person, you should be at the airport before. Your flying time about one hour. 
Mm -hmm. That's very good. Next. So cool. Trời ngoài này đã lạnh rồi bây giờ cậu uống nước nước Where uống nước lạnh nữa. Yeah, lunch. do very well. <laughs> Will they give us some lunch on the plane, Mom? They don't have lunches on this plane. We'll take some sandwiches and eat them at the airport. Can't we have lunch at the hotel? You'll be hungry before that. Four. What must Mom remember to put in her bag? And have you got the dictionary and all the money we need? Yes. Everything is ready, Paul. How about the torch? We might need that at night. There might be snakes or spiders there. Oh, I forgot that. I must remember to put one in my bag. Five. What will Paul wear tomorrow? So, Paul, are you all ready? How about your clothes? Are they all in your bag? Yes, but not my jeans and best sweater. I'm going to wear them tomorrow. You'll be too hot in those. Wear your new shorts and t-shirt. But they're at the bottom of my bag. Oh, all right. I'll get them. I can't wait to leave. Okay, so where will the family have lunch? Why don't they eat on the plane? Because, um, I don't know. <laughs> because I think because... in your memory. <laughs> because this um, it will be late. No, because there's no meal on the plane. Maybe mm -hmm. they're gonna mm -hmm. So they're gonna take some sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Next one. At the airport. Yeah. What's my mom remember to put in her bag? Yes, it's a torch. But why do we need that? Because if the, if there any spiders or Insects, we can see it and actually it's snake, not tiger. Yes. Snake. You see, it's very scary for that. Oh, that's yes. just scary. Okay. I hate jungle. Okay, so she needs to get a touch. And what will Paul wear tomorrow? Ah, it should be a t-shirt with a shot. Why not? A trouser. Because it will be very hot. Yeah, it is too hot for him. That's okay. Now the last part is your favorite part. Listen and color. Very one example. Okay. The first one. I want you to describe this picture for me. Oh one my one. god. Training your skill. Um one girl is dancing. Stop. A baby. Stop. Remember what I told you at the first part. When you describe a family, a picture, you need to say about big thing, the background, and then you're going into details. Mm. When, where, how, what, why, who? There's a window. Oh my god, that's not what I mean. The background. You forgot everything. Okay, if you are okay that I want let you to I have to say that you have a snack on your studying and now you are not focused anymore. I think sweet. Sugar gonna help your brain, but it's not. You are not concentrate. Okay, look at the picture. I always said, I always ask, where are we? 
Remember? We're at a cafe. Are you sure? No, it's a not. Restaurant. A no, you see that? We have a window, a clock on the wall, on the cat, the baby, and the sister is dancing. You look at the baby. At home. At home. A waiter at her a waiter? No. Um I think they are at home and then you talk about something. Look at this one. We have a family here. Uh I think um at a I told you store. I told you they are at home. That is the answer. Well, so, can I go at home so nice come? What? Yes. They are at home. I I agree with that. I asked the next question. Oh my god. I heard that you said that they are at home and I said, okay, now look at this and tell me more about this one. Mm, at home, dad and mom is drink some tea or coffee. Dad and mom is drink some tea. Oh my god! Are drinking some tea or coffee? There's a dog be behind the chair of the man. Right. Okay. Now look at me, and I gotta tell you something more. The first one you talk about the place okay and then we talk about the general things like okay we can see a family here and if you want to talk about the parents please talk about them for one time one time only why i need to say that because you're gonna describe the position of them and then you tell me about the activity too if you are talking about the position first and then you have to come back again to talk about the activity, so you gonna call their, you're gonna call them twice. That is not good. When you talk about one object, please tell everything about that object in just one time, one speech, and then move to another object and don't come back. Okay, and look at this one. Actually, we have a situation here. Okay, try thinking. Mom and dad are drinking something and they are reading the, the newspaper. If you talk about the people, stay. You talk about people and then you have to talk about people. And after you talk about all the people, you can change, talk about the animals or the things. Understand? Yeah. Nice subject. Okay, let's do it again. One more time. Dad and mom are drinking some tea or coffee, and they are also read some newspaper. They are reading. They are reading some newspaper. The girl is dancing. Next to her is the baby. The baby is knocking something. Playing with the spoon. The spoon and the pan. So what can what can you guess the situation here? What will he use the spoon for? For make the music, right? Yeah, make the music, make the noise. And why is his sister doing like that? Because it is like, oh, I just think this music, the girl like music because this music, she danced with it. Oh, uh, yes, she danced with it. Maybe she liked it, but maybe she just do it because she want to make fun for his brother to make him laugh. Yes. To make him happy because you see that do the parents care about the kids? No, they aren't. Not really, okay? They aren't. And they are just looking at their problem. There's 
like their things only, and the the tea sister have to take care of his of her brother. Um, and also now, after you finish talking about the people, say something about what thing about things you like. For example, the past. Mm, the cat and dog. The cat is standing on the drum and the dogs oh, oh, the dogs is standing behind the chair of the man right okay now actually next time try to make the pictures like a story mm -hmm. look at the picture like a story okay i'll make an example for you when I describe pictures, I would say like that. Okay, listen carefully. Okay, when you look at the picture, we can see that I have a family here and they are at home. But the parent is, oh, sorry, the parents are only focused on their things. They are reading newspaper and drinking something. In while that, the sister have to take care of his her baby brother and the baby brother is making some noise with the, a fan and a spoon so the sister dance to make him laugh we also can see some a dog and a cat in the picture but they are so different the dog is just standing behind the chair of the father in, um, instead of that instead of that the cat is sitting on the drum near the, the children and maybe it wants to play with them okay yeah. that's it. okay try next time i want you to show me how to say the the better pictures and i need to to link you see that when i'm talking you see the things everything in order yes now listen and color part five Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. Hello, Sally. Would you like to colour some of this picture now? Yes. Is this little girl dancing? That's right. What shall I do first? How about her pocket? Colour it pink. That's a nice colour. OK. Can you see the pink pocket? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and draw and write. One. The baby looks happy. He's laughing at his sister. <laughs> You're right. Can you see his spoon? The one on the floor? No, the one in his hand. Colour it blue. All right. Two. And can I draw something too? Yes. Can you see the dog behind the father's chair? Um, I can just see his face. Well, draw a bowl in front of him. For his dinner? That's right. Then colour it red. OK. Three. Their dad is reading. Show you how to draw. Can I color his newspaper? What color will be best, do you think? Gray? No, I prefer yellow. That's my favorite color. Is that okay? okay? Yes, that's fine. Good. You are wearing yellow t-shirt today. Four. Now, can you write something, please? All right. I'm ready. What do you want me to write? Can you see the big box by the wall? Yes. 
please write toys on it. That's easy. OK. Five. Can I use orange? I haven't used that color yet. Yes, of course you can. Can you see the drum on the floor? Color that. The cat's sitting on it. That's right. OK. And have we finished now? Yes, we have. Good. OK. Now, do you want to listen again? No. No, not changing anything? No. Actually, I tell, I want, I need to tell that you have wrong one, one wrong things. Here, now look at the pictures. Okay, find down. What are you, what are you wrong? What is your wrong? What is your mistake? Oh, let me see. The first one, color the spoon in the baby hand blue is okay. Next one is a red bow here for the dog dinners. Next one, the newspaper is yellow and the toys in the on the big box next to the wall, behind by the wall is that. The last one, color drum on the floor orange. Okay, before we ending this lesson, I want to show you some skills to draw on this one. For example, like that. I just talk about the bow first. Bow. You see, uh, there are two ways to draw a bow for a dog. Mm -hmm. uh, in foreign country, they like the bow like that. But in Asian country, we have the bow like this one. Wow. And the first one is the bow for the Western and this one for Asia. Okay, you know. Different. Actually, you can see that. You can see that. I can see it. I can't see. Oh, no. I can't see. I haven't finished talking. You can see this kind of bow in the pet store. But this one. Actually, in Vietnamese, not everyone go to the pet store to buy the bow, right? So people just yeah. gave the dog one of the bow in the family. So it's going to look like that. Okay, that's just 20 things. Now, do you have any questions today? Can I see a cat? It's raining. Do you think that is cat in the house? Cat. Where's your cat? The cat mm -hmm. is in your house. I have two houses. I have two houses next to each other. So I live in one house and the other is for the cat, the dog. You have dogs? Three dogs. Oh. I have four, but one is missing. Oh, 